up, everybody? And um, I'm now doing a voiceover for my uh, episode 10 of My Legend of the Dragon Let's Play because um, when I recorded this, I fucked it up and my mic didn't get recorded through Fraps for some reason. So I figured I'd sit down for 25 minutes and talk over this. Uh, nothing really special to say or anything. I'm going to move my microphone here. But uh, I feel a little bit bad because I was going to do all of these live recording, you know, record myself as I'm playing the game, but since it fucked up, I really can't do that for this part. I mean, I had commentary, I was talking over this whole thing, I just didn't know until afterwards that my voice didn't get recorded. So, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of lame, but whatever. Uh, I didn't really talk about anything interesting, I basically just rambled on and then talked about random stuff happening in the game. But, uh, I lost all that, so... Oh well, doesn't really matter. I guess I don't really need to narrate the story either because you can kind of read what goes on. Basically, this whole part, all I did was, um, ah, sorry. All I did was, uh, run around this town, Rohan, or Lohan, or whatever, for 25 minutes, just exploring the town. So basically, Shanna there, she was stupid and got poisoned because of the dragons poison or something for some reason. And it only affects fear because, of course, there has to be some sort of damsel in distress somewhere in the game. So, yeah, that's what's going on there. I don't know. It's whatever. Then you have to find some strange plant. The Dragoni plant. Whatever that is. Spoilers, uh, it's behind the giant floating testicle. <laughs> oh, well. So basically, I just run around this town like an idiot the whole time. And instead of talking about me running around this town like an idiot for the whole time, uh, I really have nothing else to talk about. I'm just glad it's finally summer. Summer is great for me. Finally out of university classes, you know, I don't have to go up to the college every day to take classes, so lots of free time. Yeah, you know, until August when I go back. That's going to be fun. I don't know. I just get really burnt out going to college classes for fucking six months straight or whatever. Shit, it's even longer than six months straight. It's like nine months straight. It's literally more than... <laughs> it's literally half of my time is taken up just by college classes. Every year, basically. It's a little lame. So I'm, now I'm just running around trying to find items. Yeah. It's kind of boring to actually watch me play this game. I mean, I know people do Let's Plays, and people like watching Let's Plays. Hell, I watch people do Let's Plays of games I'm interested in. And I do Let's Plays of games I'm interested in if I've played them before, and they're cool games that I think other people will enjoy. And uh, I, I know when I, when I do Let's Plays, I try to make the commentary entertaining or informative or any of that stuff. I just, I try really hard to do that sometimes. But I know I'm not the funniest person. Sometimes I just can't come with like on the moment jokes about things and stuff. And even now, I'm doing post commentary, but I'm not going to like go back and go over my commentary just because I missed something or anything like that. Like, if I think of a witty joke, I'm not just going to like come back and edit it into this commentary before I get it done. Even though, uh, you would be able to do that with post commentary. It just, it's not something I would do. I'd just rather do commentary all in one take. I'd rather record the game and do the commentary all at the same time. But that didn't work out for this part. So, eh, it's whatever. Good thing this part's only 25 minutes long. You don't have to listen to me ramble all too long about it. But, yeah, I don't know. Also, just thinking, uh... I feel this commentary could be, like, if I did something like this, post-commentary, I think that there could be some entertaining ways to do post-commentary. Not so much this way where I'm just talking over what I'm doing. I mean, it's okay for commentary, at least you can hear something while I'm playing the game, but it's really not the best way to do commentary, it's not really that funny or whatever. So I think if I'm ever going to do post-commentary again, it's going to be more like, uh, me and someone I could riff off of making jokes the whole time or something like that as there's just gameplay in the background. So I think a style like that would work really well, you know, to where I don't have to narrate everything that's going on. 
in this part, since I just literally run around the town randomly for 25 minutes, it's not really much you'll miss by me not saying anything, live action or anything. It's just... No real reason for me to, um... You know, go back. And I was going to redo this with uh, live commentary and just, like, skip lots of the crap and just do the story parts you have to to get to the next part where my save file was. Because I did have two save files. And I still do have both the save files, but since I didn't know, at the end of this commentary, I saved over both of them. And so they're both RE4. So this is literally all the footage I'll have of this part. Which is a little sad, but I figured I would at least come and tear, commentate over it because I recorded the footage, I might as well record some commentary over it, so. Yeah, I don't know. This is an RPG, it's one of those, oh, go here, then turn around, go back over there, then turn around, go back over there, sort of things, and that's slightly annoying. Running back and forth in video games is really pointless. Eh, but you know, that's just how RPG games go. The new RPG game that came out uh, a little while ago, Kingdoms of Amalur or whatever, I played the demo for that and you know, I was tempted to buy it just because I wanted another game to play at the time, but I didn't buy it because it was just one of those things like, it was just very repetitive and everything and uh, well, while some repetitive games can be fun, you know, it's not something I like doing repetitiveness in games is okay to a point I guess because some games have to be repetitive but then you think like a game that's only repetitive like Street Fighter or any fighter game those are straight up repetitive because well that's the whole thing it's just you know it's a simple game you sit there and you mash buttons to do things and then you like throw a punch or you throw a different punch and that's all the game that's all there is to the game different characters have different punches but it's still the same thing but then those games have more appeal than repetitive RPGs sometimes just because it's, it's not long and tedious. You get in, you have a quick battle, and while you may be throwing the same punches if you play the same character over and over again, you're still having fun, you're into it, you're like, yeah, what's the other person going to do and am, am I going to win? Because you're matching which multiplayer against another player. Or if you play against the AI, you're kind of like, yeah, make the AI cheat and just try to beat the computer. But then we were playing something repetitive in the way that, oh, you have to run over there and kill 20 boars, and then come back, and then go, go back over there and kill 10 more. And then it's like, oh man, now you're just wasting my life. And uh, there's nothing wrong with repetitiveness in that way, but... Just boring. I don't know, some people love stuff like that. Like, people got, get addicted to World of Warcraft in just every MMO game. I've just never had a personality where I would get addicted to those games just because of the repetitiveness of it. That's literally it. I mean, I know it's a lot to ask for if they're making a big game like that for every quest to have a different and unique thing to do. That's like a huge project to do and I'm sure if I ever made a video game that'd be shit tons of work. But that's the thing, like, it just gets boring after a while. I've never had a max level character in World of Warcraft just because I can't sit there and play it for that long, it's just too boring. Then again, people sometimes play that game not just for the boring grind, they play it because, oh, I'm playing with friends. And in that case, I can understand playing it for a long time because it's socializing, but I didn't really have any real life friends that played World of Warcraft a lot other than one, and it's just like, kind of boring. And the thing is, World of Warcraft also sucks in the way that everyone's split on into different servers, so the server I started playing on before I met this friend who played all the time was a different server than his server. So we couldn't play together on our characters, even though it's the same fucking game, which is really annoying. So, you know, you're like, oh, well then you can just cha move your character over to a different server. Yeah, well that's the great idea in theory, but then you have to pay $10 to do it. And, you know, you're already spending $15 a month on their game, it's like, why can't they just make server changes free? I mean, if they made them free, then everyone would do them all the time. There'd be servers that are ghost towns, because no one would play on there, so I guess that's why. But still, if I'm already, if I already paid money for this game, I'm paying money to get keep playing this game and get patches then uh you know i don't want to be limited to who i can play with oh and this is the shop where i see my first really expensive good item legend cask 10,000 gold increases uh magic attack by shit tons and magic defense by shit tons and i'm going to come back for this sometime when i play i'm not sure when but i will
Oh, I also think sometime in this um, commentary I was making the, um, I was talking about the item inventory limit being 32, and I was like, that's really small, it has to get bigger later on, but it actually doesn't get bigger later on. I hear that in the Japanese version you could do a mini game to get it increased to 64 or something like that, or 62, it doubles it. But they took that out in the English versions of the game because, oh, it makes the game too easy. And I'm all like, but you're just modifying the game. It's like, if you, so if you want to import a game from a foreign country, you know, and they're like, oh, the game's too easy. We need to make it hardcore. Why the fuck would you do that? I mean, I suppose back then people really didn't fucking care about shit like that. But now it would just piss me off so much. Like... If you got a copy of Skyrim in America, and it's like the normal copy, then you went outside of America, and the same thing happened, you know? The developers would import Skyrim, they'd change it to your local language, like German or whatever, but then they modify it to where, oh, it was too easy, it has to be more hardcore, and then now you can only carry ten items in Skyrim. That would be so fucking retarded. And, of course, they did for this game, which was on PlayStation. It's way back in the day. So, of course, there's not going to be a huge outlash over something like this, but... There would be nowadays, and I'm just glad we're moving away from stupid stuff like this, because it's just so retarded. The, uh, the only things that people edit now from games, really, is just gore. They don't really edit the gameplay like this. They just edit the style. Like, um, some games get censored more in Germany or something like that because of all their weird laws. Like, oh, there's less gore, and then, like, um, the MMO Terra, it's South Korean. So what they did was they went through and they censored more of it here in America, in America because in America apparently sexuality and nakedness, nudity is just like a huge taboo for some reason. And it's so stupid. Oh, good. oh my god, that's a whole other rant though. On how stupid America is about nudity. I don't know. Ah, just why do they do things like that? If I ever made a game, I would be so pissed. If I made a game in English, someone's like, Hey, I want to port it to German. Will you give me the rights to port it to German? I'll be like, sure. And then they go through and they're like, Oh, we're going to take out this feature from your game. Because we want to make it harder. I'd be all like, No, don't modify. I gave you permission to change it to German. Changing it to German does not allow you to rename. Or, well, it would allow them to rename. It does not allow you to change something. Inventory limits. I just say German because, I don't know, that's the first thing that came to mind. Because German had all those strange censorship laws, right? Like, I remember so many games got... Or maybe it was Australia. One of... The, some games are, like, really gory, apparently. And so they had to get censored really heavily for international release. I think, um... I know Manhunt might actually even be banned in Germany. Or whatever country. Because Manhunt... One, one of those older games from last generation. Was, like, so gory and everything. And I... I can understand that. I mean, that game, pretty insane, especially when you're a kid playing that. Like, holy crap. And I suppose that's the reason why they did it, because they didn't want kids to do that. So they just banned the game straight up. But it still pisses me off how people think, like, people can't handle shit like that. And it also goes hand in hand with the media being all like, oh, if you play a game with shooting, it desensitizes you, and then you go around shooting people. It's like, no, you go around shooting people if you're a crazy psychopath, not just because you play Call of Duty. So I sit around and I'm like contemplating shit like this all the time because I don't know why, but I do contemplate all the time. I don't know. Just stuff like this is what I think about randomly sometimes. It just makes me so mad that America is so hung up over nudity sometimes. Like, the ESRB has a special rating for games that go above and beyond its AO rating, basically, and those are any games involving sex at all, basically. Or, actually, I think for the ESRB, they're even more strict about that. Like, nudity, straight up, I think, has AO. Uh, I don't know any highly rated games that, like, show breasts or anything like that. Like, mature video games, they're, n they're not mature because they show nudity. They're mature because there's tons of blood and gore. But then all the AO games are not because they're, like, tons of blood and gore. It's more like, oh, we saw a boob, we saw a nipple. Oh, no, it has to be adults only now. Which is kind of bullshit, I mean, come on. In other countries, there are, like, nude beaches and stuff, and here in America, we're all like, oh man, we can't handle nudity. And I think it's less of the fact that we can't handle nudity, it's more the fact that, oh no, kids can't see naked people, or something. Which is even more retarded. You're born naked, what's the big deal? I mean, 
If you're a girl, you've already seen breasts before, so what does the nudity matter? If you're a guy, well, you can just go on the internet to see breasts anyway. The same vice versa. I mean, if you're a guy, you've already seen a penis. What does it matter if you see a penis in a video game? And then if you're a girl, you've already seen... Well, you haven't already seen a penis. Well, maybe you have. No, but uh, you can just go on the internet to look it up anyway. I don't know. Uh, some of those things, like sex ed, I feel it needs to be taught in schools, mainly for the fact that people actually need to know about this shit, and they don't need to be sheltered the whole lives. But then on the other hand, it shouldn't be the school's responsibility to teach the teach kids about sexuality. If, I just think sexuality is way over. Uh, over censored, over not really over hyped, but it's just like pushed to such an extreme point when it doesn't need to be. I mean, everyone makes a big deal about gays and lesbians and everything. It's all like, what does it matter? If you're gay or lesbian, it matters to you, and that's it. If you're not, then leave them alone. Like, they want to get married, whatever. It literally does not affect you at all. Like, if I'm standing right here and two gays are getting married five feet away, that's not affecting me. Sure, I'm five feet from them, but it's not like suddenly I'm gay and I have to have sex with guys or something like that. It's like, no, it doesn't affect me at all. I won't care. They're just over there. They can sit there and be their gay selves or lesbian selves or whatever. It literally doesn't affect me. So why should I care if gays get married or anything like that? Why should I care if there's fucking naked people on the beach or something? I shouldn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> like, literally. None of this shit matters. And it's the big deal in America is stuff like this. I just have no idea why this country is so messed up. But then again, that's about every country. I don't think there's any country that is literally de common sense, has enough common sense to do stuff like not care about that shit. I don't know. It's just the way I was raised thinking, I guess, to each his own sort of thing, you know? If it doesn't matter to you, well, if it doesn't affect you, it shouldn't matter to you. Gay marriage does not affect me at all because I'm not gay, therefore it doesn't matter. If I was gay, then it would affect me and I would want to get married. You know, if I was gay, I would want to get married. You know, I'd want to have the same rights as any straight person. That's where I can understand what gays are coming from. I just don't understand the viewpoint of people like, Nope, gays can't get married. Marriage is only between a man and a woman. Like, the government has no say in any of that. Why does the government pass laws on that? That is so stupid. Instead, that marriage or whatever should be up to the church. Like, if the Christian church or whatever doesn't want to marry men and men or women and women because it goes against the Christian religion, I'm all for that. I mean, it's your religion. That's the way the religion is. Go for it. But the government should not say that men cannot marry other men just because specific religious groups don't agree with it. And it's a big thing. Like, marriage, I guess the basis of the word of marriage was religion anyway. You know, because you're marrying under God or whatever, and you're going to be with your spouse forever. So I guess that's where ideas like um, domestic partnerships and stuff like that came up, but then you still don't have the same rights as married people. It's like, for a country that was found kind of founded on freedom of religion and stuff like that, it's kind of, you know, not so freedom of religion. Because religious people are stopping people from other religions or from no religions from doing things because they don't want them to. Like, gay marriage. If you're not gay, gay marriage does not affect you. Why do you care if gay people get married? Like Mitt Romney, he's like, I'm totally against gay marriage. It's like, why are you against gay marriage, man? Are you gay? Is it something you need to tell us? Oh my god. Rants everywhere. This video turned into, like, a huge flipping rant on just stupid shit for some reason. I don't know why. Should be about Legend of Dragoon, but... I really don't feel like narrating exactly what I'm doing all the time, and you can just see it on screen. This is post-commentary, and live commentary, I do that stuff all the time. Live commentary, I don't talk nearly this much. And the reason is, is because I'm focused on playing the game. Like, right now, I'm not really focused on the gameplay at all. I'm just making conversation and talking. Which I think, for someone like me, this kind of commentary would actually be better, just because I'd actually get more content out of the commentary. Because when I'm sitting there playing games, this happened like mostly during all my other LPs. I focus on playing the game. Oh man, I gotta make sure I don't die. Oh man, I gotta make sure I shoot down this helicopter like in my Bad Company 2 Let's Plays. And then like, oh man, I gotta figure out this puzzle and portal. So I'd sit there and I'd think hard about that and I'd forget to actually think that, oh, I have to actually make interesting dialogue for my videos. And so 
a lot of my commentary is like really crap because I just can't think and play the game at the same time. Like, I think about the game that I'm playing. I don't think about commentary, so I can't really do both. Like, if I was playing this right now, there's no way I'd be able to talk about all this stuff because I'd be focused on like what the NPCs are saying, then where I want to go next, and then mm, excuse me, then what I have to do next, and then like etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Instead, here I am talking about gay marriage for some reason and my viewpoints on it. And uh, I know that since my viewpoints have the internet, if people ever do start watching these Let's Plays more than just like one or two here and there, then people, someone's going to be like, man, I disagree with your views on gay marriage. And then they're going to like downvote me or uh, give me thumbs down. I'm going to be like, oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sorry that you do not agree with me. But then again, I don't make these videos for people to agree with me. I just make these videos because I enjoy video games. And, uh, you know, this game is uh, a gem that, well, I would say not a lot of people know about. But that's not true. It's like one of those cult games with a cult following. So the people that know about it know about it. And the people that don't know about it would probably find better Let's Plays than mine if they really wanted to see this whole game. Considering mine is literally 10 episodes in, 10 out of what, 190 or something like that. So, uh, still very short. I am not even off the first disc. I'm not even one fourth of the way done. So I know it's going to be way more than 40 parts at least. Shit, I don't even know if I'm halfway through the first disc at this point. Yeah, so. I'm say, this is still going to be a long series. That's why I'm definitely planning on doing big chunks. Like, if I sit down one day over a weekend when I'm not working, and I decide, hey, I'm going to record eight hours of myself playing this game, which I probably won't sit and play this game for eight hours. Wow, think about that. If my commentary fades out after 30 minutes, think how much it's going to suck after eight hours. Hey, man, I never said I was good at commentary. I just said I'd do a Let's Play of the game. <laughs> anyway. So if I ever do decide to do, like, a long session where I'm playing this game, <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, I could be like, yes, I recorded eight hours. That's 16 parts. I haven't 16 days worth of stuff. And, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that and then just sit on the content. Because if I had to do that, this Let's Play would literally take way too long for me. Like, it's not that I have a short attention span like that. I have to go, I, I still work during the weekdays during the summer. I still have to go back this August... <laughs> I have to go back, and I have to go back to class, and then I'm not going to have time to do this anymore. Oh my, I don't know. But uh, this commentary is almost done. There's just like three minutes left. So I kind of ranted through this whole thing. I'm so sorry, guys, but uh, I don't know. It's not that bad. So basically, if you didn't pay attention to the game, just pay attention to me ranting. The only thing that happened was... Went into town after fighting the boss battle. Shanna got sick from the poison. We already knew that from the last parts. Doctor's are like, you need to find this strange plant. I go to visit the merchant that we saved, and then he's all like, Oh, I know where that strange plant is. It's behind the flowing testicle. And then they're like, Oh, but we can't get rid of the flowing testicle without getting holy water or something like that, or spirit water. So I scammed this dude down from a bottle. So it was a little bit back, but this guy's all like, Hey, I got a deal for you. And then you walk over to him and you're like, Do you have a glass bottle? He's like, Yeah, I have one for $10 million. And we're like, Screw that. And I'm like, Go cheaper, go cheaper. Because there's an option to buy it or go cheaper. He gets to like $2,000. I'm like, I have $2,000, but no, go cheaper. He gets down to $100. I'm like, eh, How cheap will he go? And he gives it to you for free. So I don't have to spend any money. That was great. I kind of felt like a douchebag doing that. But it's an NPC, so I don't really care. So now I'm running to the little stream that's like right down below me. Like, right down below this area that I'm at right now. To get the water. And then after that, I run back up to the save point. And that's basically the end of the episode. The next episode, I have no idea how to get out of this place to get back to where the flipping giant testicle is. Because this was a giant hole. We fell down a hole to get down here. I have no idea how to get back up. Because you fell down a hole and landed right here. So how do you get back up? Do you get, go back up to Lohan and go back around? Because, well, that would take flipping forever. But actually, it wouldn't surprise me if that's how you do it. Eh, I don't know. But yeah, I'm sorry this is um, post-commentary instead of live commentary, but really had no option. I saved twice here, once over both files, so I couldn't go back and do it. And I wanted to actually have this part up 
because there's no reason for me really to skip showing you this part. I mean, if I just randomly came up with the next part, I'm like, welcome to part 10, and here I did this, and I accidentally forgot to record it. That sucks, so I might as well just do post-commentary like this. So that's what I decided to do. I don't know. It's not too bad. It could have been way better, but, eh, it's whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed my ranting, though, on random stuff, basically. Uh, I really have nothing else to say other than thanks for watching. I'm sorry this 25 minutes wasn't, uh, you know, completely straightforward, but it's not too bad. Uh, see you next part sometime later, tomorrow, today, whenever, I don't know.